Hello, this is Mo Ismai, and today I'm gonna show you the way I use Gravity Sketch and this Comp AI tool to make your sketch render more realistic. So, in the beginning, I normally do a sketch in free, like normal sketch on paper, but today I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna use the Gravity Sketch tool and how that will be help me to achieve more realistic render with Viscom AI tool. Um, first, the reason why I'm using Gravity Sketch because um, for uh, two reasons actually. First one it's because the sketch is already clean and I don't need to scan it and get it to Photoshop and clean all the extra line from the sketch normally when you sketch and doodling and uh, gravity sketch is kind of cool interesting way to how you can render or sketch your uh, design vehicle and allow you to see that in real time in actual life size and also you can clean your sketch and make it more kind of uh, ready to go to use it in Viscom. So as you can see here, I'm just trying to get the right skill with the design I mean, I'm designing here. I have this uh, kind of design in my head, so that's why I don't have any sketch or kind of side of view. I'm just trying here to quickly to show you guys how you can use uh, this clean looking sketch directly from Crafted sketch to Viscom, and just after I record this, I just learned that also you can export if you do the fully modeling from a Gravity Sketch. You can export it as a FBX from Gravity Sketch and import it inside the Viscom. A quick note here: when you or when I use the snap capture or camera from the Gravity sketch. I always try to get the most common kind of picture reference. That's maybe the Viscom tool is sometimes struggle with. And now I'm gonna show you how we can use the Viscom after we finish the gravity sketch. We normally just import the image we liked. And here I'm just so try to save you some time. I picked this angle because it's kind of work best from the all images I uh, choose. Uh, I tried a couple of them. They seem they didn't work well. So here I'm just kind of going to show you how this going to work perfectly with some of those angle. And I just noticed for this uh, design it's kind of challenge because Normally, when you design the car with those tools, uh, it kind of understood the, the vehicle, how, how the components can be work with the vehicle, with the windshield. So that's why uh, for this is topic, it's kind of first time I'm using vehicle without windshield. And the tool here is kind of try to kind of remind me that it's going to be windshield or you need windshield here. First, I was trying to avoid as much I can and as you can see here I'm using my influence sketch more than I'll say I'm between 95 or sometime when I need more generic kind of feeling I go down a little bit and create more layers inside the viscom and you can see me here play with the influence sketch more or less and save them as layer inside the the viscom and you're gonna see why I'm doing this when I jump inside the Photoshop because uh, not um, and also I'm trying to play with layer here in the Viscom sometimes I make it more transparency so I can remind the tool hey I you like now you go far from my sketch and I try to bring back my sketch to the tool and remind them this is my main line and try to mix between the layers. So every time you feel your sketch is getting away from what you need, and here you can see me, I'm just trying to get the idea of there's no windshield as much I can, 
and sometimes maybe if your sketch and graphic sketch is it's, it's good enough you might just mask it over the area that you want to do but here I try with it and this is I think I get some nice result but then in the end I found it interesting when the windshield was there I kind of like it so I kept the windshield in the end but you you get the idea you can totally control in the end if you want you can delete or kind of raise something in Photoshop that's also okay and um, as you see here sometimes I, I use different mode in Viscom and try to get more different feeling and uh, here sometimes I just try to fix stuff that I don't like uh, in the sketch by using the brush tool and just try to hide those kind of area and head kind of generate again to see how that's gonna be work and I switch between like uh, image refined if I want to be more realistic and it's a good idea sometimes if you want to make the that for example say that the rim or tires more realistic go and use the image refine and make the sketch influence i would say 50 because it's just you can select only the tire and you can kind of get the uh, realistic feeling from the sketch but yeah after that it uh, normally you have just keep trying different uh, kind of uh, generate images and see which one you like and the cool thing now and with the update of Viscom you can export it as a PSD so you can have all this kind of generate images yeah. even if you just like you like one of them you, it's good to have them as a reference because you can mix with other stuff and get the best result you want And then after we export it from Viscom, it's uh, I think everything is from Photoshop is gonna be easy for you. Here I'm try to gonna fix some of the weird stuff that it's come from the uh, Viscom, uh, generate some weird shape. Try to fix it and try to fix the windshield too because uh, I always struggle with the windshield because my main sketch was doesn't have any windshield. So I think. Uh, uh, again, I'm doing this for purpose to show you guys, but if this will be a real uh, kind of issue, our if I just have it in my original graphics sketch as windshield, maybe save me more time. But I thought this is most of the people when they are try to use the Viscom, they struggle about not control everything. But it's really worth to give everything you can in the first sketch proportion and design wise and make the viscom color that's for you and for myself i feel a lot of my sketches it's been through because i don't have time to color them i like to instantly generate a lot of sketches and ideas and i kept them as a sketch but with the tool here now with the viscom it's cool some of even my old sketch when i bring them back inside the viscom I feel they are really cool when they come to real life and that's the big test here now if even if you have a small sketch or a small idea that you want to bring it and you feel oh no that's not worth it oh it's just a sketch uh, try, give it a try you'll surprise how how some of those kind of sticky note sketch will be turned to cool design so I start to save all my uh, small sketches and try to play with them inside the uh, Viscom so I think um, the future is bright for everybody here as an opportunity. It's not uh, kind of locked now for your skill in Photoshop. Uh, I, th I feel the Viscom, it's the new future Photoshop tools in your hand. And instead of putting so much time thinking about the lighting and shadow and where's the sun or the uh, source light and how that will be uh, reflect in your design, you're gonna really pure focus on your design and the feeling of the sketch and the motion instead of thinking about this technical artistic render uh, in the sketch 
So, um, and that may be save you time because it's really, it's gonna be very efficient and time consuming for you. Uh, this workflow here, it might be take, I will say days or, or a full day just to try to uh, do them in a sketch and you sometimes you just like okay uh, I I don't feel the sketch gonna be take me to any place but and with this technology and the new tools there is nothing gonna be waste and everything you can experiment it to the end until you feel oh is this really cool sketch or not so um, I'm I'm very kind of happy with this kind of tool because it really bring me back again because sketching is so much fun now and thinking about only pure the design so i will not be worried about how this will be colored my main focus how can i do more cool shape and vehicle design and it's a big way so yeah give it a try and let me know guys what you think and from there i think it's just photoshop so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.